Margo guy. He's sick? I don't know. His mother didn't give me a note. Ugh, these boxes are not regulation. He owes me five on the Knicks. You have to replace them. I do. I look like I own the building. Mailman package. I'll tell your boss. Sure, as soon as I tell him to replace the lock, 10 40-year-old refrigerators, a dozen faucets, and give me that raise that he promised. Yeah, tell him to repaint the hall. Give us some color. There you go. Thanks. So what time you finish? (laughs) See you later. You want to see the neighborhood? I've seen the neighborhood. Yeah, but have you seen it with an Italian? Victim is Florence Manning, 48. He took her to St. Mary's. Bad shape. Florence? That's the least of it. Looks like she opened up an explosive package with a letter opener. Blew into her neck. What do we got? Confetti. Piece of the stamp. The young Elvis. That might be the postmark. Yeah, Grand Central Station, that's gonna be a big help. She delivered the package an hour ago. You remember anything about it? It didn't fit into the box. I was bending it. It could have gone off. Uh, return address? Do you know how much mail I carry? <sighs> yeah. OK. Yeah. Thanks. Your route just got one stop shorter. Florence Manning didn't make it. I thought no one used regular mail for packages anymore. I guess the junk mailers are still loyal. Yeah, so are the mad bombers. Well, you think it's a nut? How about a scrambled egghead? The husband. Listen to this, courtesy of the University Press Service. Professor Edward Manning, B.A. Cornell, Ph.D., MIT, when he was 26, co-discovered the omega minus particle. Beginning in 1981, led an experiment seeking evidence of proton decay which, if established, would demonstrate that all matter in the universe will eventually disintegrate. Yeah, but who's that lady I saw him with last night? A guy like this could commit a murder, then jump in the time machine to cover his tracks. Let's start with our kind of science. Go see forensics. The explosive was plastique, RDX. The military stuff? Uh, Once upon a time, now about as hard to get as illegal guns. From the radius of the damage, I'd say it was a small charge. A lot of smoke, but not much power. Tell that to Florence Manning. The letter opener was a fluke. By rights, the bomb should only have wounded her. And scared the hell out of her. So our bomber got lucky, huh? Or unlucky, depending on whether he felt like being a murderer. Firing pin? Yeah. Opening the package released it allowing a spring to push the nail against a metal plate, completing an electrical circuit, and Merry Christmas. Classic design. Yeah, handsomely executed. Your man has some technical sophistication. Like maybe a physicist. Experimental or theoretical? Never? Yeah, she would have told you, right? Okay, thank you. Florence Manning never told her sister-in-law about any new man in her life. No boyfriend, no stalker, no psycho. Yeah, well, Manning's girlfriend saw the guy on the 21st, about 10 a.m. Florence Manning's date book. Toast and coffee, 115 calories. 9.30 manicure. Noon, lunch with Anna. She kept a very neat diary. Yeah. She'd be upset to see what a mess her place got into. What now? Another insight into the nature of time and matter? Maybe. Look at that. Is that on the negative? Something twisted, like a spring. Like the spring in that bomb. Oh, it's radioactive. When the spring was collected at the crime scene, it must have been placed in a bag next to the unexposed film. See? Its image was imprinted before the picture was taken. Is it safe to stand here? If I was a man, I wouldn't carry any of this in my front pocket. What is it, uranium? Nope. Steel. My car is steel. It doesn't set off a Geiger counter. This stuff didn't start off radioactive either. Some of its atoms must have been converted to unstable isotopes by exposure to High energy particles. Suppose the bomb was built or stored in a room next to a nuclear reactor. That could do it. You got any suspects with nuclear reactors in their basements? 
As a matter of fact, we do. <clears throat> so now you suspect me of murdering my wife because the bomb that killed her was radioactive. Our expert says it was stored near a source of high energy particles. Like those things that chased us out of here yesterday. Can I assume that the bomb components were steel? See, our point is, Doc, maybe you don't have to assume. Maybe you know. I'm assuming. If they're steel and they're going radioactive, then you're probably talking about cobalt-56. Did your expert take a gamma ray spectrum? Well, the Geiger counter was pretty convincing. I'll make it simple for you. This reactor could not irradiate that bomb. I'm afraid that's a little too simple, Professor. The iron atoms in steel are converted to cobalt-56 by collision with high-energy protons. A reactor like this one produces low-energy neutrons. Nothing above two and a half million electron volts. Well, we're gonna need some documentation on that. I'll lend you a freshman physics textbook. You didn't bother to run the super stand test or whatever the hell it is, and we end up looking like idiots. It's a gamma ray analysis, and you didn't ask for it. Well, since when do we tell you how to do your job? Since every time you walk in here. The energy signatures of the isotopes in the bomb. These are the spectrum lines from cobalt-56, multiple peaks. And there's no way Manning's gizmo can make this stuff? Nope. But a particle accelerator can. There is one in the area at Manhattan University. That's why we call it an accelerator detective. It accelerates protons. So when one of them uh, slams into an iron atom, it automatically becomes cobalt-56? Sometimes. I didn't know the police investigated particle interactions. You know Edward Manning over at Hudson Polytech? Did you ever come over here? Dr. Manning? This is one of the last places on Earth he'd set foot. No scientific cooperation? He never drops by to borrow a cup of protons? Our director is Arthur Stedman. 20 years ago, he and Manning were both chasing a new nuclear theory. Manning proved it two weeks after Stedman did. Stedman got the Nobel Prize. And Manning got sore. There's no prize for second place. Where do these accelerated protons run free around here? In the accelerator chamber, where the researchers set up the experiments. These researchers? We're gonna need a list of their names. 